Good afternoon. I am Trent Eric. I'm Amy Wegman with a Fox 4 update on the recovery efforts underway in southwest Florida after Hurricane Ian. Right now, residents still stuck on Pine Island now have a way out. The Coast Guard is asking anyone wanting to get off the island to head to the Pine Island Fire Department in Boquilla. Yeah, so right now the island is only accessible by boat or by air. The Coast Guard stepped in and they are currently evacuating people this morning and this afternoon. The meeting point if you need to get on the uh, off the island, excuse me again, is the Pine Island Fire Department in Boquilla. Uh, you will be taken by ferry to Matlache Pass. Eventually you will be taken by bus to a shelter. We want to go now to another barrier island that's beloved here in southwest Florida. There is a ferry shuttling people on and off of Sanibel Island all weekend. The hurricane cut off access to the mainland, tearing up the Sanibel Causeway. Now city leaders say the island remains under a 24-hour curfew implemented by Lee County. Search and net rescue efforts are underway with the city saying four people have died thus far. They say the National Guard is expected to arrive on the island and that structural safety teams will begin inspections Monday. Each day brings new stories of heroism in our community that is coming together. Yeah, we want to show you some video into the Fox 4 newsroom from Fort Myers Beach that was just decimated. A group of Good Samaritans you can see here, they found a man trapped underneath rubble uh, and they came to his rescue. They freed him from this debris. They put a sweater and a blanket around him and took him to safety. No word this morning on the extent of that man's injuries. We do want to take a look at our updated power outage numbers. We know so many of you are still uh, in the dark. There is good news, and we're going to show you FPL and LCEC uh, numbers combined. In Lee County, 64% of customers have no power. In Charlotte, it's 60%. And 27% of customers in Collier County are waiting for the lights to come on. But those numbers are getting much better. We're happy they to are. see that. We also want to talk to you about food and water distribution centers. Yeah, so far, there's just a few of the sites throughout Lee County. These open each morning at 8 o'clock and they close at 5. Yeah, you can always find these locations and other available sites giving out food and water across Southwest Florida, Charlotte County, Collier County uh, on our website, fox4now.com. And uh, keep in mind, they are going to be opening up meal tents in the next coming days where you'll be able to get three hot meals a day. If you want any information about where you can go uh, to get any of the resources you might need, just go to our website, fox4now.com. For Trent, I'm Amy Wegman. Have a good one.